how excited I am about the return of this year's 34th Miss Pacific Island pageant. Can we have a round of applause? It's hard to believe that this time three years ago, my team, Manaya Events, and myself traveled to Papua New Guinea to compete for the Miss Pacific Island pageant. Now, at that time, I was committed to serving 12 months, but due to unforeseen circumstances and a worldwide pandemic, 12 months extended to 36. Uh, I take note of what the Minister of Tourism shared earlier about this pageant being more than just a beauty con competition. It's about helping the development of young women like myself. And as I stand before you all today, I believe that I stand in front of you um, a lot wiser, a lot older, a lot rounder. <laughs> but I often reflect on this journey and the amazing opportunities, the growth, and the experience that it's had. And all of these things more together have shaped me into the woman that I am today. Now I look around this room today and it goes without saying, a lot of people have asked, how did you survive three years of being the title holder? Such an important title. And the answer is this, because of my God, it was because of my family, and it was because of all of you. I mean that by the way, so keep that. <laughs> It goes without saying that this journey has been one with a legion of supporters and I wish to thank each and every one of you for supporting my journey. We have STA who I worked with who I worked with for 12 months and continue to work alongside. Some tourism authorities have become family to me as well as our board members, ministers, um, and just and our sponsors as well. Everybody in this room has played a huge role in, uh, in this pageant and I hope that you will continue to play that role and show the same amount of support for our 35th Miss Pacific Island, Bhaktay Lava. Introduce our contestant number one. Lava and Nikmoa Romo Yakinimimak. I am contestant one, Miss Noru. My name is Alexandra Melody Pichow and I'm 23 years of age. I am so humbled and honored to represent the Republic of Nauru in beautiful Samoa. And I thank you all and I acknowledge you all for making this event happen because it has been such a great experience. I've experienced a lot of growth in this one week. Also, I'd like to dedicate this to my delegation. Happy Independence Day to all the Norans who came here. We're away from home and to our few people from Independence Day. God bless you all, and thank you for making this experience as enjoyable as it has been. The Makaba, and thank you. Greetings and Talofa. My name is Kalhani Melofa Deisa Kuimono. I am so, so grateful to be here with my Tosikita sisters. Thank you so very much to the Miss Pacific Islands organization for hosting yet again another splendid Miss Pacific Islands pageant. We have just came back this morning from Savaii and it was such a treasure for each of us to experience firsthand witnessing the Seattle being made and being able to see the waterfalls as well as experiencing this luscious island. You have such a gorgeous, beautiful home of paradise here in Samoa. I am your Miss American Samoa. I'm 24 years old and I'm proudly here standing representing my beautiful island. Thank you. I am your contestant number two. Sorry, I'm a bit short. Talofa <laughs> Lava and hello, all the good people to me in Samoa. My name is Tiale Haro, 22 years of age. And I'm proud to represent God on this platform, as well as the Happy Isles, Solomon Islands. I plan on using this platform purely to serve my people in the Pacific and unite everyone so we could battle issues that is timely and relevant in the Pacific nation. I'm standing here in beautiful Samoa to prove to the Pacific that Solomon Islands can also be Miss Pacific Islands. 
Danke für mich. give a quick shout out before I actually start talking, but big shout out to my Australian family, my Mota Atamesina family, also Mamane Events, Vodafone, thank you so much, and also a big shout out to STA for actually hosting this event and for paying me. <laughs> um, but just wanted to also thank you for my sister to actually um, share this experience, to actually visit Samoa and also experience Savai. It was honestly so amazing because I haven't as well probably I should have, but um, it was such a great experience and just coming from to her today and just hearing such positive things. I really hope my sisters do come back. But I'm also here on this platform to really be here and to, to really show off Samoa because this is the heart of the Pacific, is it not? <laughs> but I love you all and I'm thankful for you tonight and I hope you have an a joyful night and a sing-sing day to pass the time with. Tawokolaba Samoa. And hello everyone. And Dabi Namana from my mother tongue. Josie Nicholas is my name. I'm 24 years of age, proudly representing my big and beautiful island of Papua New Guinea. A fun fact about me, I'm a very adventurous person and I've always wanted to travel. And today that dream is reality. And I'm happy to share that, share this journey and that dream with my wonderful Pacific Island sisters. Today, I stand here representing my beautiful island of Papua New Guinea. It is one of the largest economy in the Pacific Islands and one of the fastest growing ones as well. And the Apex Summit, in 2018 has proven my country to be one of the growing business hubs in the Pacific. And I hope to welcome you there someday. And I thank you all of Samoa, including Savai, for the wonderful experience that we have shared like since I arrived on Saturday and until today. And I look forward to this amazing journey God bless you all and thank you so much. <laughs> 